you ever confirmed a transaction on the blockchain without really understanding what words like gas price, gas limit, and GUI mean? In this video, we will be making these terms a lot less scary and how you can make sure your transactions are always processed smoothly. This video is part of a larger Coach Farm DeFi tutorial series. I promise if you watch them all, you will be more DeFi savvy than 99% of DeFi users. There is safety in knowledge, and I want your DeFi journey to be as smooth as possible. Let's get started. Each network transaction requires gas. Some take more, some take less, it just depends on the complexity. That could be swapping tokens, or it could be sending tokens to a different wallet, right here. Or it could be interacting with a smart contract, such as deposit, withdraw, and enable. With cars, gas is measured in gallons or liters. With cryptocurrency, gas is measured in GUI. GUI is just a really small amount of the native gas token, or 0.0000000001. Each network has its own native gas token, and here is a list of common networks you may have heard of and the native gas tokens you'll need to make transactions on each of these networks. So why do you care? Because if you want to speed up a transaction, you need to tell your wallet two things. The max amount of gas units you are willing to use, this is called the gas limit, and what price you are willing to pay, or the GUE. In this example, my wallet is suggesting I pay 30 GUE per gas unit, or one GUE multiplied by 30. So take the price of my gas unit, multiplied by my gas limit, and that gives you the maximum fee I'll have to pay for this transaction. So how do I know what to put my gas price to? Usually, the suggested gas price is pretty spot on. If you confirm the transaction and it's taking too long, just up the gas price just a little bit. Unfortunately, if the DAP recommends a gas price that is too low, you might have to wait 15 minutes or maybe even up to an hour. And at that point, you're running into troubleshooting problems like how to unstick stuck transactions, and that's no fun. One good way to know how much to pay for your gas price is to go to the Polygon gas station tracker. Now, this works off of a bidding system, so these prices are constantly changing. But right now, the standard is 30, fast is 33, and rapid is 100. Oh look, the fast just increased because of the bidding system. So if you want a fast transaction, I would recommend taking the fast or the rapid unit and putting that into your wallet under the gas price so you can have a fast transaction. Another note, your wallet won't typically use the full gas limit. This is just the max amount of gas units you're willing to use. Let's take a look at one of my recent transactions and check out exactly how much I used. So I'm over here in Polygon Scan. This is my public wallet. And here's my most recent transaction. Let's open it up and we can click to see more. This was my gas limit, but it actually only ended up using 46,000 rather than 51,000. And if you think about that, since Matic is $1.40 right now, this is almost a tenth of a penny. I would much rather pay a tenth of a penny every single day than I would to have to wait for a stuck transaction or a slow transaction that's gonna slow me down. Scratch that. I'd rather pay three whole pennies than wait 15 minutes for a transaction to complete. So it just depends. How much is it worth to you to have a fast transaction versus a slow transaction? Sometimes if I'm really busy, I want a transaction now. Other times, I can wait a little bit. But now that you understand how your transaction fee is calculated, you can do the necessary work to figure out what you're willing to pay. If you have a stuck transaction, check out this Medium article to learn how to fix it. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll be learning about some of the best price charts for Polygon and how to check the price of Cogecoin.